What's up everyone, this is Kevin from Sleeper TV, back with another product that I'd like to review. I've been trying to find the best and easiest way to take out hairline scratches out of a polished stainless steel surface. So right here I have a Raymond Well watch that is pretty much all stainless steel, but as you can see in the photos that I'll, I'll list up, there's a bunch of hairline scratches on this watch that if you have anything that's polished stainless steel, you're gonna scratch it. So I wanted to find the easiest and most effective and efficient way to get it out without having to take out a Dremel and then buff it out and grind it and you know the whole deal. So I came across this product right here, Cape Cod Metal Polishing Cloths. I've, I've done little to no research on this, but I did see it had great reviews. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a risk of destroying this watch. Hopefully it does not. I'm pretty sure it won't, but I'm taking a risk and using this on this watch to see if I can take out these hairline scratches. We're going to get right into this. I'm going to let you know that I do have gloves because I do not know what is actually in here. There's a little warning down here that says harmful or fatal if swallowed, keep out of reach of children. That I do not trust. So therefore I have gloves to wear. But a cool thing with this, right here you can see is for silver, gold, pewter, brass, copper, bronze, nickel, aluminum, chrome, and stainless steel. So if you look on the back, it does say that this cloth can be used multiple times. It says right here, return cloth to foil packet after use. Should cloth become dry, a few drops of mineral spirits or vegetable oil will revitalize. So that's pretty cool. So after you use this, you can put it back in the bag and then reuse it again. This one in particular comes with two four by six pre-moistened cloths, which I'm actually going to cut so it's it's easier to move around. I'll show you a before and after of how, how it goes, but I'm going to speed this process up so you don't have to constantly see me work in. If I do come across something where the the, poly or the stainless steel starts coming off or the watch starts melting in my hands or I start bleeding really badly, then I will pause it and tell you what has happened. But all in all, I'm going to speed up this process and if I come across anything, I'll, sp I'll stop the video and then tell you what has happened. But here we go. So here's the first opening. Does it have a foul odor? No, it actually smells like sweet tarts. Wow. Yeah, this, no, you know what this smells like? You know dipping dipsticks or dip something? Wow, that's that's weird looking. It's got like, this reminds me of a, oh, there's like stuff on my gloves. I'm gonna have to remember to wash my scissors. But uh, this reminds me of like a strawberry Pop-Tart. Now one thing I should have done was probably tape the the actual lens, tape the actual lens or the glass per se, but we'll go ahead and see if this uh, does anything to it.
Not sure why my camera shut off, but I did go ahead and end up finishing this watch. I mean, you can probably see it by now. I mean, this, this watch is shining like no other. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend Cape Cod Polishing Cloths because this is the real deal. Um, I did make a comment about the lens or the crystal being looks like it looks like it being scratched um, it's it's really on the top of it and you don't notice it unless you really look at it I don't know if that was already on this watch or if this cloth did it but I do recommend if you are doing this be sure to put some kind of like painters tape or something over your crystal that way it is protected and you don't have that issue other than that I mean you can I don't even think I need to even take a picture of a close-up I mean you can see it glistening like it's it's literally like a mirror I've, I've never seen this watch glisten as, as much as it is right now um, but that's about that's about it I'll go ahead and take pictures um, of this watch some close-ups so you can compare to the first ones that I did but other than that, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing more of these reviews. And I'll see you guys next week.